What we're going to be looking at here is a lump sum or basket purchase here, some property, plant, and equipment. And what we're going to do here is we're going to purchase a group of plant assets by issuing common stock. Now the market value of the stock issued is a fair indication here of the cost or property acquired. It's a good measure of the current crash equivalent price here of these assets we're purchasing. What we have to do is we have to allocate the total purchase cost among the assets in proportion to the appraised fair values at the exchange date. So let's look at our example here. Corporation A here is going to buy some assets here and they're going to just buy a lump sum, pay a lump sum price here for these assets here from another company and it's going to be for land building and equipment here. And what we are going to do here is Corporation A is was given uh, gave this other company for the purchase of these assets 25,000 shares of its $100 par value common stock in exchange for the assets here. The actual market value of the stock here is $180 per share. Now that's at the purchase date here and that's an established price here. So uh, what we can do, uh, the established price when I mean that it would be on the, like the stock exchange. So we know what the uh, established price is for it. Now the cost of the asset assets purchased here with the stock would be the 25,000 shares of stock issued times the market price here of $180 per share and that's $4,500,000. So that's the uh, cost here of the assets. We've established the cost of the assets here uh, based on the market value here of the stock that was issued. Now what did they buy here? They purchased these assets and we have to have a price fair value on these assets. That is uh, what we've for the land here we've got an amount here of 800,000 building 2,400,000 and the equipment 1,600,000. Now these are uh, fair value here. They're not any book value they're just a fair value and we have the total fair value here of $4,800,000. So what we have to do is you can see here this $4,800,000 has to be allocated based on our purchase uh, price here or cost of $4,500,000 based on our stock value here. So what we do is we just go through this basic equation here. We have the fair value of the asset here. Uh, up here that's the fair value of our assets here and then you divide it here by the fair value of the sum of the assets that's the total value here I got it color coded here times the cost here now we know what our cost is that's based on our stock issued here and that is how we allocate our, our cost allocated to each of the assets here so uh, just going through our equation here looking at our land first say we had our land here appraised value 800,000 divided by the total value here of 4 million eight hundred thousand and that fractional amount here gets multiplied times the cost here of four million five hundred thousand so that uh, would equal um, our cost allocated to our assets would be seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars here so we added eight hundred thousand dollar appraised value here and when we allocated it here based on our is our cost here it was seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars and we do the same here for our building and our equipment here taking the appraised value here uh, divide it by the total uh, of purchase price here or not purchase price but the total fair value here appraised value and multiply it times your cost each time and you're going to come up with your total allocated assets here a total allocation here uh, for each of the year assets here your land, your building, and your equipment. And then you, well, we're allocated these costs proportionately here. So our total al cost allocated here for each of those assets totals up to $4,500,000 if you add them up here. And that's the same here as the cost on the, based on that stock issue. So now, just to look at our journal entries here, uh, we would just take our land here at our allocated cost 750,000 our building here allocated cost at 2,250,000 here and our equipment here allocated at $1,500,000 here as our debit balance here on our um, assets here on our balance sheet and then for our equity uh, for the stock issued here the common stock um, in our equity section here on the balance sheet you just take the number of shares here 25,000 shares times the par value here of $100 and you're going to get two and a half million or two million five hundred thousand dollars here as your credit balance here 
on the in the equity section and then uh, we have additional paid in capital here and that's simply the difference here between our cost amount here of four million five hundred thousand dollars and the common stock par amount here of two million five hundred thousand dollars that gives us a balance here of two million dollars here so our debits here for our land building and equipment balance with our credits here in our equi equity section here on our balance sheet. Now, if the cost is not determinable, such as if, the, if we can't determine a cost here, an accurate cost, just say for example, and that could be the case here where it's not determinable, such as your trading stock with an unknown market price, you would use the fair value of the asset. So if we didn't have a um, known market price here on the stock, then we would simply allocate our cost here for these assets based on their fair value here. So all I did is go through a simple example here showing on how you would uh, allocate your cost here, uh, b determine your cost here based on issuing stock in exchange for some a basket purchase or a uh, lump sum purchase here of assets or property plant and equipment.